Got that axle grease? Yeah, all set. Should have ride smooth as silk. Good. I hope so after all this work. Boy, it is a hot day for this kind of work, ain't it? It sure is that. It all depends on what kind of work you're doing. Well, I've been out there riding on that hot, dusty road with that terrible wind blowing in my face. Now, what have you fellas been doing? Oh, nothing. Just working and sweating over that fire over there and fixing wagon wheels, that's all. Now, you're lucky, believe me. Much better than riding on those hot, dusty roads with that terrible wind blowing in your face. Uh, don't let me interrupt. Keep up the good work. I think I'll just go over here and sit down and relax a minute before I go into the house and rest up. A fellow that's been working as hard as our brother Adam has here. It appears to me that he's deserving of something real nice, like a, like a cooling bath. Don't it to you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's the least we can do for our brother Adam. Such a sweet guy. Works so hard and everything. Just worked himself to death, huh? It, it is hot out there on that road, I know. Oh. Adam, you fell down. Oh. Yes. Sorry about that. I, 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 we're going to cool you We're going to cool you I tripped. Up right now. Yeah. No, you're not serious. Yeah, well, well, we are, boy. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, break it up. Break it up. <laughs> What are you doing in there, Hoss? I was thirsty, Paul. What else? Well, Adam, it's uh, good to see you back. What did Hank Johnson want? Well, it was a hot, dusty ride. Oh, can you spare us the details of your hardships and just tell Paul and us and oh, please? Well, uh, Hank was up at Sheephead and he saw about 150 head of our cattle up there. All the way up Sheephead? Yes. Straying a long way from home, ain't they? That's all the way up in Paiute country. Well, I'm glad to see that you've come up for air, son. Hey, Pa, you want Hoss and I to go up there and get him? No, I think that, uh, that might cause a little trouble with the Piotes. You can make a deal with them, give them, give them half of them strays, and see them through the winter. You know, you have a point. Would you like me to ride up that hot, dusty road and settle it? Why don't you give us some hot, dusty help around here before you leave, huh? Oh, no. You two boys have been doing such a wonderful job. You don't need any help. <laughs> Adam, why don't you ride up there? You offer the Piutes half the herd if they'll help you drive the rest of them down here. Seventy-five heads should see them through the winter comfortably. All right, I'll leave first thing in the morning. Good. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. <laughs> Feelings. <laughs> 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 